Multicultural Spotlight, presented by Chevrolet. Find new roads. The U.S. Supreme Court could use a case from Indianapolis to make drastic changes to Medicaid rights. Opponents tell News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey that a vote in favor would hurt people with disabilities and other low-income communities. The Supreme Court is scheduled to hear the Marion County Health and Hospital Corporation's petition November 8th. That's Election Day, but a series of grassroots organizations are trying to stop it from happening. This case ties back to Georgie Tulefsky's death in a nursing home. He'd been living with dementia. His family claimed a county-run facility didn't provide adequate care, resulting in his death. Definitely getting a lot more uh, press and a lot more attention right now because the Supreme Court announced uh, that it will be heard or it's scheduled to be heard. Health and Hospital argues they took necessary steps to restrain and medicate to keep Tulevsky and staff safe. The case before the high court could put extreme new limits on Medicaid recipients and their chances to sue over Medicaid decisions. It really is quite dangerous for the amount of people that it would impact. But according to the brief filed on behalf of Health and Hospital, it instead opens the doors to dissatisfied residents to go around policy and file suit. Opponents say they find further conflict that health and hospital could petition the high court without a vote from its board. We see that over and over again that the disability community is often um, clearer um, and and first, you know, most vulnerable um, when uh, issues of rights come up. Depending on how the court acts, opponents say people with disabilities and low-income Hoosiers could be more at risk for abuse, mistreatment, neglect, and more. What this case is is really about is both our civil rights um, and this question of, you know, do you have rights if you can't enforce them? Next Tuesday, several grassroots organizations, they plan to attend Health and Hospitals board meeting, hoping to encourage them to withdraw the petition. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.